Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. This is a legendary Iron Man Exquisite timing run. Attempt number two. Uh, my name is Saiken and this is the return to the Exquisite timing attempt where I'm trying to do the world's first in beating um, the game on the very highest difficulty with the Exquisite timing. So that's only four and a half months uh, of game time. Quasi speed running it. Uh, oh yeah. Permanent Dark Events are enabled as well. We are in month number two, everything's going great, but that might change. A moderate difficult mission is not what I wanted to see. And the side trap uh, of having savages here might be a problem as well. The savages at this point are only faceless ones. Faceless ones have 12 hit points and regeneration. So one faceless one itself is already a problem, let alone two or three faceless ones. Um, in a pack uh, that can definitely call, uh, stir some trouble. I see, or I can already see, that we're going to have a bit of a problem with our damage output, and I don't fully know how to deal with that yet. I do have a general idea what we can do, which is getting a flashbang, for instance, uh, to slow them down. But if we're uh, fighting against too many of uh, the faceless ones, we are going to be in a world of pain. Uh, moderate difficulty means 12 enemies, up to 12 enemies, so uh, that's what I'm calculating with. Let's hope we're not going to fight against 12, and rather fight against 9. Good, here we go, we just landed. Well, let's see what the mission is about. I love city missions because it means we get some remote startable items. First things first. Alright, first things first, some bullshit happens and we're losing our concealment. Perfect, that's exactly what you want uh, to happen in, a dif in an already difficult mission. Luckily for us, we can get concealment back. But that must happen in the next turn. For now, we're just Overwatch camping. Oh no. The chosen one. Are you serious? On top of what we're dealing with? Shit. Hmm. I'm toying with the idea whether or not this is an evac mission just to preserve the health of all of our operatives. Nah, I can do that. All right. Of course, the aliens are not anywhere near the remote startable items. What kind of hex could we get? I'm, by the way, concerned about the chosen disorientates all enemies for two turns. That's pretty good. They already know where we are, so... I think in the first engagement that is something that I'm willing to do. Renman overwatches, Hayward overwatches, and let's see if we trigger those guys. Chosen moving in here. I heard a door. I, will give you a death. I heard a door up here. Coincidentally, when the Chosen was moving. Yeah, it was a civilian. Well, 
Lucky enough for the chosen, I suppose. I go where I am needed. Let's try to get the heck going. Enemies are flash banked. We're good to go. Very nice. That's the disorientation. Fortunately, the chosen is immune to this, so she's not going to care much. hit all of them. Not a bad idea. Let's start doing that. I suspect that the Chosen might be somewhere in the proximity there. So I was hoping that I would hit her as well. Unsuccessful, unfortunately. This is absolute and 150% bullshit. Oh my god. Well, I'm not going to be mad about it. It's just a game. And the game is trying to win. Still, the fact that we're being discovered twice. First with a completely random um, discovery. And then by yet another completely random um, movement. That definitely hurts. Fanning out so that we're not gonna be um, swarmed. Double movement. And this is probably just going to be a normal shot. The Chosen definitely will attack us now. Revival protocol. Break the days. Heading out. Good trap now. Into some really nice damage. Definitely gotta get the stun lancer down first. This here might be a kill. No, unfortunately, barely not. So 
so we got to kill with our Reaper. Biggest challenge that I'm seeing now is we're still having a handful of enemies and we've already used a lot of our cooldowns plus didn't want our Reaper to get injured. Easy peasy harbor wave. That's not a big problem. Once I have taken your soldier from the field, I am sure a wealth of new information awaits me, Commander. Alright, killing the straggler. Got an outloader, that's fine. Bit of revival. And Renvin. An Unfortunately needs to move here to revive. Hayward tries to hit. Nice shot. Good job. I won't be slowed by your feeble attacks. And Bones will take the closest shot that she can take. And with the adversary bonus that should be a kill. He's probably out of business for 15 days. Three points of damage. That stinks. It is rare to find an opponent worthy of my skills. Rarer still to find one capable of besting me more than once. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Well, we know there is at least one more pack here. So no need to start a celebration or anything. The path is clear. Got it. We still got our main objective to uh, to destroy. Ah. Uh, I am salty about how that mission uh, went. That was just very unlucky. And getting spot, uh, spotted out twice, it's just incredibly frustrating. Specifically the second time. That was completely avoidable. Hmm. Well, too bad. No need to ask twice. We march towards enlightenment. All right. Interestingly enough, we again did not get any remote start options here. Game apparently doesn't want us to use remote start. Two more rounds. We certainly need to do something now. That's the last pack. Let's try to make it count for us. 
Let's try to make it count. So, we got a flashbang, but we don't have time. Which means during this turn we need to win uh, a mission or we're in a really really big pile of poo. Let's try to deal as much damage as we can. Removing cover. Six to seven points. Hmm, that could almost be a kill. Bones takes the aid protocol. And Let's hit this faceless one. All right. Zero percent chance to crit, so it's a 50 50, whilst this is a 75 percent chance to actually hit and crit. Good. There we go. That's the kill we were looking for. Another Alarium core. Moving all the way over here. Gotta kill the target next. Transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Let's rock! All right, I do have an idea. Starting with Renvin. You should be able to see the relay over here. Well, he's not, and that is a problem. Might as well take a shot. We got to focus on the relay. Even if that means that we're going to take some more damage. This here needs to go down. Else the entire mission is lost. There we go. And in order to prevent Ranvin from being in leveled damage range, we're going to heal him. Nice. Didn't even manage to get to us. Renvin reloads. Bring it on, you beast. And Hogbite hopefully gets a promotion. Wow. 
wow, that was a pretty difficult mission. Wow. Good, here we go. 26 days. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. The promotions are great, but the 26 days are a pain in the rear. Two armor piecing, we're definitely going for Silent Killer. We're definitely going for Tactical Rigging. And then it's either Armor Piercing or an option to get back into Shadows. I think we're starting with Armor Piercing because soon Armored units will show up. So that is helpful. 26 days is pretty bad. Good, we got an outer loader, Alarium Core, four faceless corpses, uh, that's almost two uh, Mimic Beacons. Hello, Commander. And a new Grenadier, who could be the reserve Grenadier for Renvin, who's now wounded for 26 days, that stinks. Biggest problem is we're going to run into um, a lot of injuries. It's just the nature of this run. Lack of damage always means that the enemy will have a pretty good, decent time uh, jumping on you. Yeah, Could have gone worse. I mentioned at the beginning that I didn't want to trip. It was not completely a trip, but uh, we were stumbling a bit. More resistance contacts. That is interesting. That should get us to five. Well, the other option is healing faster, which I think we can do. We also need intel, but since I think we're ahead in the intel game for now, let's make sure that we're healing actually a little bit faster. Just for a few days. There is the power relay. And with the power relay, we just need one more power um, for the shadow chamber but that's fine how about we're upgrading it that's 80 supplies let's put one of our engineers here for now we can always upgrade it a tiny bit later And we're starting the Shadow Chamber, which needs to be built a bit faster, so we're definitely short on Angie's. Good. Uh, if we wanted to upgrade here, we'd be looking at 80 supplies, so 30 more supplies. Yeah, that's worth it because uh, then I can continue speeding up the laboratory and not fall behind. So back to the black market, or even better, let's scan for the supply drop at least once. Good. That frees up our engineer because we can upgrade the power relay. Power relay upgraded. Engineer no longer needed. Got plenty of power. And 
let's put the engineer back to work on the laboratory because as soon as possible we want to uh, really speed up our research further. Shadow Chamber will be done in 14 days. We're on a really, really strong trajectory here. Next up, I would almost go for GTS so that we can get the squad size upgrades. And let's continue with healing our troops. All right, so that works out nicely. Got the resistance radio, um, which is perfect. And just as if the game would want to um, present an opportunity for us, offers us to do a fast uh, de uh, data pad decryption. That's great. I'm not going to uh, pass on that opportunity. Of course, uh, going for the um, uh, the armor would be great as well, but essentially um, we will need to decrypt at least a couple of the data pads for additional intel and getting half of the uh, time gifted is definitely worth it. Look at that, another, um, another retaliation mission, Operation Death Child. We're certainly going to do that. Let's take a look at our soldiers in the armory. Well, much better. See, that's the benefit of um, of faster healing. We got our team already and um, decked up. Bones is almost back, and Ranvin is not completely out of uh, the game. I think we've. We've uh, healed enough so that between the retaliation mission and whatever mission comes next, uh, that there is plenty of time available. Retaliation mission gives us a great option to uh, get some more, uh, some more promotions. Yeah, and we continue to um, to work on the shadow chamber. Once the shadow chamber is done. We would need to do the black side. Given that uh, this here might become a GTS, I'm just thinking what the best uh, what the best um, approach would be. We're getting another engineer, yeah, and the engineer that we're getting in the covert ops can be used to uh, continue clearing. Shall we slow down a bit on the chamber? Nah, I think it's pedal to the metal at this point. We're kind of um, we're kind of towards the end of April soon. The chamber will be uh, will be done at the end of April. Uh, so that's two and a bit month in, which is an incredible timing. But it also requires us then to start doing the black side pretty soon um, afterwards. As we do the black side, we will get the vial. With the vial, um, we have the first item that we can research in the shadow chamber that gives us a couple more days. Uh, although it will pause any research that's kind of happening uh, here. So try. Uh, we got to try to um, to research as much as we can beforehand. Haven't even met any of the mechs yet because I wanted to research a mech for blue screen rounds. But then again, I think blue screen rounds. Oh no, blue screen rounds. I think doesn't require a proving ground um, project. But I might be wrong with that. Anyways, back to the uh, train of thought. Uh, Shadow Chamber will be coming up uh, in 11 days. Once that is up, we gotta invade uh, the black side. Uh, that will be done. 
at this point. I think we will also have a covert ops technician. Let's speed this up a tiny bit. Just a few days. I think overall that's more efficient. Because we're going to get an engineer faster and hence we can continue then cl uh, clearing even faster afterwards. Um, anyway, so this here will be the GTS. We've got to station one of the engineers here just to keep um, us energized. We would be at 25 energy. Uh, so yeah, we can build two more buildings uh, with it. Uh, probably the GTS and either training facility. Proving ground is not needed anymore. So it's either training facility, which would unlock quite a few perks. Um, I think that's a good idea. Or infirmary, which will give us faster healing. Now, nah, I think we're going with training facility. We could also upgrade the bonds to level two um, and modify a few other items. So that would be helpful. Good. Uh, I think that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was a bit of an intense episode. And um, uh, in the middle of it, I even got a bit salty for um, being handed the short end of the stick twice in a row. Uh, but it is what it is. At the end, it's XCOM, guys, and you gotta be, you got to be keep a po positive mindset. So if you take anything out of this run, try to keep a positive mindset and never give up. Uh, give up. That way uh, you are going to prevail eventually. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the run, leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing and have a great day. Bye-bye.